Okay, so in the previous video, we manually put in a bunch of uh, data points in order to create a, um, a line chart. Okay, this time what we're going to do for JavaFX is we're going to uh, create those data points automatically using a formula. Okay, so we're going to see how that's done. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to comment out that part right there because we need to have a new uh, set of data points. So we're going to comment that out. Now, what we need to do instead is we need to create a class that has a method in it, and, uh, and we're going to use that method to create the data points. Okay, so let's see what we could do. Um, let's see what we could do here. All right, so how about we uh, set up this? Um, we call it equation data. And it's going to come from a new, uh, a new um, uh, class. So we're going to call it. Um, let's see. Equation for data. Okay, like that. And then um, let's see what can we do from here. Actually, do that, and then instead, now, now, now we're going to do. We're going to call this equation data, all right, and this is going to be equation, and we're going to get we're going to have a, a, a method inside called get data, okay, like that, and we are going to feed in. Number of data points. So static, private static, final, int, num data points. And we're going to say we're going to have 100 data points in there. We have a really simple equation in here, but um, anyway, so we're going to have equation for data, and then we're going to have a number of data points. So we're going to have num data like that. So we're going to pass 100 into it. All right. So, oops, we need to have a new class. And so this class is going to be here. Let's do this new Java class. We're going to call it equation for data. All right, here we go. So then in here, uh, what we need to do is we need to create a um, method so public and we're going to make you know base it on, on a, a list generic okay so xy chart dot data we have two numbers x and y and let's see yeah the answer is yes we want to import that Yes, we want to import that. Okay, so then we want a uh, number. And let's see, from there, we need to have data. Oh, sorry, we're going to call it, sorry, we're going to call this get data. And we are going to have a number of samples that come in. So data points in the X. All right. Up here, yeah, we want to put a list. Oops, let's do that here. Yeah, util list right there. Good. Okay, so from there, All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, set up an array list and that, whoops, yeah, that should happen there. Yep, and that should allow us to basically populate the uh, the list of numbers that we're going to call data. All right, 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to go for i, oop, int i is equal to 0, i less than, let's see, data points right there. That i is equal to i plus 1 or i uh, plus plus, doesn't matter. Like that. So we're going to have a for loop. And what the for loop is going to do is it's going to go through all of the x axis values from 0 up to 99. Okay, so up to the maximum number, minus 1. But it'll basically set up 100 numbers. Okay, and we're going to we're, we're going to add data points each time we go through this for loop. So we're going to go like this. Data dot add. Like this. And then inside of here, we're going to go new xy chart dot data. Okay, so we have generic in here. And we need two data points. The first one is the x value. So that's based on the incrementing variable for uh, for the for loop to so i, like that. And then let, let's come up with some um, value here. So let's go, let, uh, let me see, let's have 5 multiplied by i multiplied by i um, plus 6. Okay, so that, that, that'll be the equation that we're using to generate the values for y. And that should be, yeah, like that. That should be sufficient. Okay, so we've now got basically a, um, an equation right here, and the equation is going to be like y is equal to 5 times x squared plus 6. That's the equation we're dealing with right here. Just made it up. Doesn't matter. This would just be what, whatever equation you need to have. All right, so we're going to go back into main.java here. So we have um, equation goes and gets. So we have equation as the object coming out of equation for data, which was that class that we've got in the other the other file. Then right here we're going to run equation get data num data. Okay, it'll be assigned. It'll assign basic. Whoops, did I actually return anything? Oh, I didn't return anything. Return data. Yeah, so I have to return the data. Okay. Back here. Which will get put into equation data like that. No, I'm going to use that. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so um, let me see if we got that. That's our equation data. We're going to put that in there. That's going to populate our observable list. Uh, that goes into the series, then series goes and is used to generate the line chart. So I think we're good. Let's, call, let's uh, compile that. And then we're going to run it. There's the chart right there. Let's let's try a different equation this time. Let's go back into equation data right here. Let's change it to um, minus six, and uh, let's call. Let's just do x instead of x squared. And change up the equation like so. Let's run that. See what happens the graph should look dramatically different. Again, you can see the there's a difference now in the in the chart. Okay, so <clears throat> there you have it. We now have a, uh, a line chart that's been created using 
um, a set of x values and an equation to generate the y values. Mm -hmm.